All right, we have another letter here. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 1-2, KJV. Hey, Brother Brian, we wanted to bless you and your family and your ministry. A couple of friends who we had just met blessed us with. Um, okay, I won't go into that. Um, you know, what people donate to the ministry is between them and the Lord. Uh, my wife and I have been blessed by your ministry and have learned so much about the Word of God. We pray that the Lord keeps you in His Word and protects you and your family. We did have one question, if you could please answer it for us when you get the chance. Cross-referencing Daniel 7.13 and Revelation 5.7 and Ezekiel 1.26 to Daniel, John, and Ezekiel see the soul of the Godhead sitting on the throne and cross-reference Isaiah chapter 6. We would really like to hear your thoughts about this. We love you, brother. Stay in the Word. Um, yeah, uh, it's a pretty wild stuff. Let me go to the different scriptures here. We'll see what we're talking about. Um, Daniel chapter, uh, 17 verse 13, I guess. Doesn't sound right. I think it's Daniel 7, 13. Um, Daniel chapter 7. In verse 13, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. So there you have Son of Man and Ancient of Days. So Son of Man being like Jesus and the Ancient of Days being the Father. Um, <clears throat> and then you take that and you go to uh, Revelation 5.7. Revelation chapter 5 and verse 7. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Yeah, um, Revelation chapter 6. Let me just go there real quick. Um, verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And you jump down to verse 11. It says, And white robes were given unto every one of them. All right, um, so you can, when you get to heaven, you can see a soul. Um, when you're seeing visions of heaven, you can see a soul. Now, it's, I don't know if it's a bodily shape, kind of a light type of a thing. The Bible talks about um, the light which no man can approach unto. The glory of God is like a light. Um, so the, the Father is that soul. He is the one that emanates the light. So you, he can be sitting on a throne and you can see this being that's emanating light but you can't see any kind of facial features or whatever else but the son of man being jesus christ can approach to that and come and say okay i will take the book out of him that sits upon the throne um and say well draw this out brother i can't i can't i just believe what the bible says but if you're a trinitarian you have a problem because now you have to say somehow that it's two different you know, persons there or something like this. And that the father would have to have some kind of a body or some kind of a thing. You know, you get all messed up with that Trinitarian stuff. Just believe what the Bible teaches. Man is made after the image of God, after his likeness. God had a body, soul, spirit. They can separate. Okay? Um, my body, soul, spirit can separate as well. You would see that if I would die. Okay? My body would go down. My soul and my spirit would go back to the Lord. So, um, <clears throat> then we'll go to Ezekiel 126, according to what they have in their letter here. Um, you know, and it's fine. I'm, I know, know a lot of times people will write and they'll say, you know, could you just kind of confirm this? We think that this is the way it is, but could you confirm this? <clears throat> and um, most of the time I, I just look and I say, well, the Lord's already showed it to you, you know. I can confirm it and say, yeah, you're right in what you're saying, but I don't want to be the final authority. Ezekiel 126, And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of a sapphire stone, and upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness of, as the appearance of a man above upon it. So, <clears throat> you know, it's the likeness of a man. Again, I believe that that would be the soul. The father is on the, on the throne, and the sun, the body, is doing other things. So the problem with modalism is that they teach that there is no distinction between the Father and the Son. Well, these verses are all debunking that. Now, aren't they? Um, 
uh, just completely destroys that whole thing. So, uh, and then what was the other one? Okay, I guess that's it. Cross-reference Isaiah chapter 6. That's another one that they said here. Don't go real quick there. They didn't give a verse in Isaiah chapter 6. <clears throat> okay, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Okay, so I guess Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. Um, <clears throat> so again, the Lord sits upon his throne, but that doesn't mean that it's a separate body than what Jesus Christ has. I don't believe in two different bodies. I believe that there is one body. All right? That's what the Bible teaches. <laughs> That's why I believe that. Uh, the, what you're seeing when you see that separation, which destroys the whole modalism doctrine, which I am not a modalist. I've been called that, which is nonsense. You don't know what you're talking about. But what you're seeing there is you're seeing the distinction between the body, Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, and the Ancient of Days, God the Father, the soul. All right? Just as simple as that. So, thank you very much for your letter. And um, finally got around to answering it. So, there you go. And we will see you in the next video. Oops. There was a second letter that I had to answer from the last uh, viewer that wrote the letter. <clears throat> hey, Brother Brian. This is the names... The Lord has blessed us once again, so we have decided, okay. Recently, I got into a debate with a brother who believes the KJV. We don't see eye to eye on the Godhead. He doesn't believe God has an eternal body. In other words, he doesn't believe God, the Lord Jesus Christ, has always had a body. When I quoted all the scriptures talking about God's body, for example, Jacob wrestling with God, the numerous appearance, appearances of the angel of the Lord, and the list goes on, he said that all those scriptures were just theophanies. Where's the word theophany at in Scripture? You know, it's a man-made term. You can call it any fancy thing you want, but the truth of the matter is the Lord appeared in a physical body many times throughout the Old Testament. Um, not three physical bodies, okay, just one. In other words, God became something that he really isn't and that there's no way that God has an eternal body. For example, Ezekiel 126, he says that it was just a theophany, that it wasn't really God, but he just became something he wasn't. Maybe you could make a video about this or write me back. Stay in the word, brother. We love you. Um, the, the lengths that people will go to to deny biblical truth never ceases to amaze me. Um, it's not this, oh, it's a theophany. Okay, what does that mean? What does it mean? Uh, Jesus appeared in a physical body. I mean, does, did Jesus just have a whole bunch of different physical body suits up there? You know, he can just slip one on and go down to the earth and come back or something? No, God always had a physical body. I don't believe that God was somehow, he was a, just a soul at some point in time, then he decided to create a body and a spirit or something. No, I don't believe that. Um, so, but I've talked about that in other studies, so just wanted to add that little letter to it there. Again, watch out for man-made terms. Um, the Godhead is Jesus as the body, God the Father as the soul, and the Holy Ghost as the spirit. Three in one. Simple. See you in the next video.